Hi. Welcome to Isle of Sandal. I'm gonna play this first as an insane computer and have some fun. It's essentially a one-on-one -on -one map created by a relatively new map maker. You just want to be the try it out. That's what I'm gonna do. Don't get any ideas though, because I'm going through my melee maps and I'm finishing them off. They are fun to play, but I personally would prefer only custom games to be suggested. But this is one of the one versus one melee maps. It says all races on both sides are equal. There's no imbalance. So there should be a standard melee map as far as I know. I'm playing as undead, so I'm hoping my opponent isn't human. Because I was actually hoping to get human here and then fight first as an undead insane computer so I could like banish Bolt, Holy Light and just destroy. So we're going to try to explore the map, get powerful and not lose because I lost to the last computer that I fought. Unfortunately, feels bad, but I did. Can you get through there? Ah, I don't think the computer's too worried about getting inside of my base. You don't have to block it off too hard. So this is a nice jungle theme to it. We've got green camp here and here, fairly far away. Merc camp nearby. Is complete. Oh, it is slightly altered because we've got the boat yard. Ah, I wonder if I could abuse the boats versus the computer in some way. There's a gold mine that's red and you have to use a teleport to get to it. So yes, this is slightly different. I bow to your Not completely standard. As one might expect. There's normal orange creek camps sort of closer towards the middle and a marketplace that's guarded by a red creek camp in the middle as well. <laughs> I'm doing battle with the computer. What is my overall, overall win rate versus insane computers? There's no way to know that answer. But it would be something like 0.1%. If you count the amount of times I've tried 1 versus 11 trying to go for that perfect game. It wouldn't really be 0.1%, but it would be a lot. It would be quite low. I'll check over here to see what this creek camp is like. Okay, we've got you hot keyed up. More fiends ready to burst out of that crypt. First one. Yeah, a lot of little creeps, so that's pretty doable, actually. I could sort of manipulate that now. Yes, that would work. If it was like a couple of big creeps, it would be a bit tougher. Not impossible, though. But lots of little ones means not really too much of a threat. It's just going to take a little while to get through them. Don't get too close, mate. You're not their friend. I'll go a bit heavy on the fiends to start with, and then we'll slip back into ghouls. I don't see a shredder, which is horrible news, because I love shredders. They're my friends. Okay, we've got better DPS now to keep their attention. Reposition, skeletons at the front, fiends at the back. Get us off to a good start, shall we? Yeah, this isn't too bad. I think that's all of them. I'll send one skeleton to find out if there's any more to come. Ah, there was one more. And there is a transport ship. I can't buy any big boats or anything like that. More manipulation. Get the tech going. I did consider going for an expansion, but the map doesn't seem to encourage a fast expansion particularly easy. I'm not sure how human would deal with this map particularly easily. This was properly on the ladder. I went a bit too heavy on the cigarettes, didn't I? Lost some gold on that. Mercs. Those two are really good. Although they don't particularly fit in with Undead, but apart from the movement speed. I won't worry about the green camps because they're pretty easy at this stage. Wow, that is an amazing item. I might be able to go powerhouse through the computer. It's 
pull back this camp. This camp looks like it's... Ah, oh, there's a door. This is quite tough, actually. So we'll nuke these down one by one. Leave the biggie up for now. What is this? Regenerates the health and manner of nearby units. That's alright. We can make some use of that. Gloves of haste from the big guy. Alright, let's make our way through to the middle. I wonder if I can just powerhouse through the computer. I can't remember if I did make him insane or not. I hope I did. If not, it's not a huge deal. We're just exploring the map for the most part. Oh, there's so many little creatures. I'm going to need web. For now. <laughs> I'm being chased by that dragon. No, he ate it. He's going to devour it before I can kill him, so that's one lost fiend. One fiend lost in the ages. Oh my goodness. I can split the damage here, and I'll use that item in a moment. Oh, hang on a second, it's not the item I was thinking. My bad. <laughs> I thought it was going to have the instantaneous effect of healing my units and giving them some mana. I was wrong. It was uh, the replenishment over time. Mistakes were made. Now the computer has a chance to come back into the game. After such a reveling start for me. Come on, web, 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 web. There we go. This is a bit cheesy what Undead can do. Just make sure you've got a character that can web this nearby. <laughs> you can creep a dragon for free. experience with the Lich as well. Dragon always gets away bit by bit though. Wow. The Lich just went up three levels. Well, two levels, technically. We'll have a look and see what our computer buddy's up to. Oh my goodness, these items. Crown of Kings as well. Okay, I might have to just hang on and wait and buy that item. Go without him. The computer hasn't even crept that, so it can't be insane. I don't think it's an insane computer. I think I forgot to make it insane. Maybe the computer doesn't do anything in this. Because it... Oh, oh, it is insane. It's just the wrong kind of insane. It's the docile, no-brain insane. I shouldn't slag him off too quickly because he could end up kicking my ass. We'll see what he can do. Alright. Hi. Oh, this is a computer insane that you can pick to pieces. 
He's level 1 and 3. So if there's a map with a lot of creeps, the computer can normally handle it. And he'll give himself stuff to do. If it's a map like this... Where it's a little bit more confusing for the little fella. Although he's still putting up a fight, annoyingly so. There's a strong what, uh, shadow hunter. Sacrifices had to be made. Demolisher. Technically feed off the computer. Curious to see if there's another crown of kings in a moment. I will do a little bit of exploring. I'm building up for destroyers. Another Kellen's Dagger Escape. Only 800 gold. I always like marketplaces. They're so cool. It's just the marketplace on this map seems to be on overdrive because the item drops are quite powerful. That Lich is attacking super quick. He's got 30 agility. No orb Juan for him. I should go and build shop over here or so. Oh, can never afford though. I'm not worthy. I was curious to see if I can use Kellen's dagger of escape to get over there. Where's the portal then? The portal will be over here. So you're supposed to use a boat to travel down here, take the portal and then go for that. Ah, feel ya, man. Picked the wrong thing. In the panic of the shockwave, it distraught me. How do you feel? Try 1v1, actually 2v2, 1 AI plus 1 player versus 1 AI and 1 player. I think we've done something like that before. Doesn't sound too dissimilar to something. Taking on the mighty computer insane. Stories are slightly exaggerated about its true power. Okay. Well, let's pop over to do his side then, shall we? For the fun. And I'll maybe put some towers here. Although he just gets demolishers. Quam. Quam. It's a minigun lich. Could you imagine Holy Frenzy in this guy? A lot of crabs at the beach. Ah. Oh, here's one's down here. My patience has ended. I Makes sense. So you can't land from there. You have to go all the way up here to do it. 
So if your base got attacked during this time, it's going to be rough. I'm expecting Archimon to be up here. I am the darkness. Be I I knew it. That's when you strike, of course. Rune of Rebirth, that means I get the funky looking jungle stalker. Ah, yeah, that's pretty well famed. Very easy to creep though, because of the position here. It's going to be so clunky. He's trying to break free. This lich is so pimped. Like that's there's some good items, but what can you do? Yeah, the aesthetics are nice, to be honest. The layout. I don't think the map works in the one versus one scenario, really, but I think the uh, look of the map is pretty good. Um, sort of like the the units inside of it and stuff. Can I actually get back onto the boat? Aha! He found a way. What does the shadow will? Of course, the computer knows where I am. Of course, you do. Come here. The jungle stalker is super fast, especially with my aura. Look at him go. You call. The restless dead await. I am what does the shadow As the shadow wills. My patience has ended. The restless dead await. You call. I can't help but feel that I should drop that and give him the glass of haste. Orb of corruption, baby. Hey, Death and Decay. Perfect for finishing off a stubborn computer. Good items, but nothing hard by. Not when I'm already as amazingly pimped out as this. Are you ready for the undead imbalance? Yes. Give it up, man. Give it up. This does not end well for you. Believe me. And the nice thing is, is I know the computer can't be too many other places. Yeah, it's a pretty fun little map. It'll be in the video description if you're curious about it. Wanna check it out? Fancy yourself a piece. Ugh. 
33 damage. <laughs> Hang on a second. Ah. Uh, of course. Uh, one darn burrow. Yeah, I'm not going to cheat now or leave the game. I'm going to finish that down burrow off. Yeah, hide in buildings. What happened to Mark since he moved to Boston? I don't know what you mean. Oh my god, Taylor Swift. Oh, we just passively crept that on our way. Could be more agility for the witch. Smack. Oh, the computer pauses the game upon defeat. So bad mannered. So bad mannered. GG. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. A little bit of fun. Computer struggles on maps that are a little bit more like islands. So, your best chance of beating an insane computer if you really want to try yourself and you wanted to start off on easy mode is to play on a more islandy type map. And this was one of them. I think it was probably the gates that messed up the computer. It probably didn't know it could destroy the gates. So it stayed in that area. But it didn't even creep the whole of that area, so it was weird. Just didn't know how to sort of maneuver around it. But I did. GG.